And I think that's why when you go today, many people there obviously marching are connected with mining and connected with the labor movement, but uh, a great many of the revelers have no connection anymore to that. And I think they're just there for exactly that, that symbol of how powerful we can be when we gather together. It's anti-individualistic which in the modern day is uh, a rare thing. So you gather on one hand, you gather why it's so powerful for an army to march in playing music. It makes them bigger and, you know, it foreshadows uh, their power. Um, but you also just gather the joy of you know, what can happen when you put people together in an organized fashion and they pull in a single direction. It's very difficult to explain. It's one of those things, it's like a, a compelling movie um, and you don't know how to explain it to people because there's so much going on there. Uh, it's, you know, it's not, it's not exclusive to uh, labor followers or to miners or to workers. I mean, this is really the thing that I love about it is that it's a completely human celebration. And you see these days, more and more groups are coming from overseas and from Australia and from South Africa, from Eastern Europe and uh, from all over the place. People are coming to celebrate their particular labor, if you like, or, or, or their particular interest. But the net effect is just a celebration of humanity and specifically a celebration of how how powerful we can be when we collect, a celebration of collectivity, and you just don't see it anywhere. There are many, many great events, but they tend to be rallies. I'm sure there, there can be bigger crowds in Red Square for certain occasions, and etc. but those are random crowds. This is uh, an event that pulls in a direction and literally raises the clouds over the sky with noise and celebration.